Before we get started guys, if you guys want to support me, make sure you guys use my Ashes of Creations creator code or link down below. It helps me out if you use it before you do any purchases on the Ashes of Creations site. Like if you want to buy cosmetics or an alpha or a beta key. If you guys want to buy that, it helps your boy out. But other than that, let's get into this video. Boy, I'm a legend, but spy on my presence, don't test me, I'm ready, my drip like Hokage, see you and I, we both had nothing in common, I'm more like a cash, I do shit to bro. Let's go, let's go, just you know, be from the unknown, said I gotta show that I'm winning, I got cuts, so not tear for us, I kill him, we all cut throws, had to put the work in, show What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is your boy Falco, and today we're going to be talking about something very good that's about to be happening in like a few days, I mean right now we're recording this on like a Tuesday, but on Friday, September 29th, we are going to be having another live streamer, not us, but Steven and, you know, company are going to be having a live stream on Twitch talking about the wave based system um, for world events in Astro Creation. And we, me and my boy here, me and my boy Yami, we're going to be talking about today, just bouncing some ideas off each other, um, talking about what we would like to see from this world based, you know, um, wave based system and what we would like like weapon wise we're talking about weapons we're talking about armor we're talking about how people can like how how they can keep retention like because you know wave based stuff people usually don't go back they go back go to it once to see how cool it is and if it's not you know um uh, doesn't give them like that satisfaction of oh i'm gonna get a cool item or oh this is something that's actually yeah. useful they don't usually come back there's uh -huh. some real deal breakers with wave based stuff from experience because uh, yeah, Falcon and I both played New World, we mm -hmm. both played RuneScape, and there's <laughs> some wave-based stuff in both of those games that I don't really care for. Exactly, because like it doesn't feel meaningful, it doesn't feel like it's something that you can gain anything from. Like, I'm not saying everything you need to get like a crazy, some crazy loot, but you have to at least feel like your time, especially if, since they're saying these wave-based contents are gonna be like 20 to 30 minutes that's a lot of time actually uh when you think about it <laughs> and they said some may go up to an hour so you want to <laughs> feel like what you do are doing is like meaningful you know like like you're gonna actually get something from it um so you know what yami what do you think what, how do you think they should do it with item wise what type of items do you expect whether it be like fully like kitted out items or like fully like crafted items or maybe it's like um resources maybe you get like iron or iron bars or no, actually for the start of the game i'm actually super against resources being dropped from um like events and bosses and stuff like that i feel like that's mm -hmm. when everything's already developed and there's already a stable economy mm -hmm. i feel like that's when like kind of on runescape how all the bo all, all the new bosses they drop materials mm -hmm. because the economy is already established mm -hmm. but at the start pvming and skilling need to be separate you can't do pvm and get all your planks and your ores and all of that i'd prefer mm -hmm. it if they were separate at least at the start mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i agree um, with that and i i do think that world events in terms of drops they have to have some sort of like best in slot potential not necessarily a completed weapon but like what we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. maybe a bowstring i yeah. forgot what what that name was you mentioned a bowstring that actually sounded kind of dope like elderwood bowstring or something like elderwood that bowstring. that sounds dope how do you Imagine. feel about what what do you think though about since it let's say hypothetically they did drop like um, iron or like materials or stuff since this game has a big predicate of like co commerce and like you know caravan systems and actually using these to build up destroyable like buildings and stuff do you think that may be a little different since it seems like materials are gonna definitely be expendable and expensive and yeah. be used a lot kind of like in like a sandbox like minecraft or something like that like you build a freaking a, a diamond pickaxe in minecraft and once that shit's done it's done you don't get anything back from it similar to you know like with seizures are you you know well sounds nice because <laughs> then you don't have you could just do pvm and keep up do you know maintain all your upkeeps in mm. the city and stuff mm. but would it be nice i don't know because don't forget you also get xp for going out and skilling mm -hmm. so it's not a complete waste of time if you want to go skill mm -hmm. i i mean it also i feel like depends on how frequent these events are because we don't know 
how yeah. frequent they are. Like how many events, like if we're just looking out, you know, scouting out for events per every day you actually see. Like I feel like it also is a consistency thing. Are we gonna see like one or two a day? Is it gonna be like seven? Is it gonna be like every every half hour there's That's gonna be a true. new event? Like And okay, maybe if they're an hour long wave based events, that is dreadful. Maybe then they can offer uh some sort of or some sort of material or something like that. That's Maybe. a lot of waves. If it's an hour it's long, long, that's a lot of waves. Lot of <laughs> I, I know everyone's thinking, I'm going to be playing this game 12 hours a day anyway. What's one hour? That's a long time. That's a dude. long wave time to be in that, wave based combat, bro. It, it, like you, you told me earlier, it's a, it adapts to the people. Who, you can't zerg it. Yeah. It has a, a variable HP. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> imagine, because 10,000 people are going to be playing day of release. An hour-long wave-based combat with mobs that have a trillion HP. Right, right. It's a big, a big waste of time. It's a lot of work too. Right. So. But that's why I feel like the loot has to be meaningful. Oh, because it's gotta be crazy. <laughs> right. It has to be meaningful because like if people are gonna use that much time to do wave-based content, and I'm not saying we all we do know that this wave based content for these world events are not going to be the only type of world events this is just a type of world event um but it has to i don't know i think i hope they show what type of loot like give us a example of the type of loot that you would see from wave based events because that's a big factor of yeah. how you keep people coming back to do do these like you know it has to be stuff that you could do around the clock and i know that steven is a big proprietor of making sure people don't go to an area and then never come back to it because that's how you know pe parts of the world die off like oh all right i don't need to come back here or do this event and i know he also said that these events are going to spawn kind of where everyone is but like if everyone's kind of spread out then they're just going to spawn everywhere right like I, i'm not sure how they're like algorithm is going to figure that out you know yeah hmm. and maybe since wave based events can spawn anywhere right yeah um they could have different rewards for each zone like i know new world doesn't do that if you guys play new world yeah uh, there's the corrupted portals on there those are open world wave based events they're not necessarily random they kind of have predetermined spawns right but every single zone has them and every single zone gives the same rewards it's ridiculous i agree How, it's just i i gotta give it to them they're not very long they're, they take like five minutes for the big ones at most right but there's it's still like what's the point it's the same rewards for each zone i agree i agree <laughs> i i hope they don't do it they don't mess it up in that in that regard like i hope they've taken right. some lessons from new world and it's like the length of these the, of the event matters also but like even if it's a short event and it still just gives you some bullshit that you don't need then it's still kind right. of bullshit, it's still bullshit yeah it's like meaningless like that's meaningless content and i like i said i assume steve understands it because he always says it we don't want meaningless content in the game we want content that people actually want to do you know yeah um yeah. because and we know oh sorry you were saying no you're good you're good you are because we know we know now he refused to mention it by name in the gathering live stream when he was showcasing the gathering animations mm -hmm. but he mentioned new world in an interview that i watched with you today mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i know he's paying attention to that game in particular he definitely is definitely is because that was the new that's been probably the newest mmo slightly sandbox-esque game that a lot of people can kind of take um and kind of transplant into ash of creation like they're very they're similar and they're different at the same time. Like the initial mm -hmm. um, scope of New World was very similar to what Ashes was is trying to do, but Ashes obviously in a grander fashion. But yeah, I mean, th don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake because a lot of people mm -hmm. are gonna be like, "Dang, this is just like a New World freaking um, the world of it." So I'm assuming if he's ready to show it already, he's ready to take some of those or field some of those questions from people who like us who probably have played New World for a long period of time and and understand what meaningless content is. And don't worry, when we when me and the boy Yami do play Ashes and we try these 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 what's called world events, we're gonna be sure to let everyone know, whoever watches, Intrepid Team, anyone, 
whether these um, events are worthless or if they're meaningless and they seem, seem monotonous and menial and just don't right. really add any enjoyment to this game. I'm pretty critical of Wave Based events because, you know, also on RuneScape, we have the five, we have Jad, mm -hmm. uh, at least on old school, that's 63 waves of bullshit. Then mm -hmm. we have Zuck, that's 69 waves or 70 waves of bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's some of the most miserable content in the game. And it's solo. Like drawn, drawn out Wave Based, I hate it so much. I hate drawn out Wave Based content when it's solo because it seems just like kind of like true. a survival. Like a like a what's it called like a tower like a king of the hill type of content like yeah, especially in MMOs. Better. But it, don't forget, Ashes is, is twenty four seven open PvP. What if you do fifty five minutes of wave base and die in the last five minutes and don't get your reward? Mm, what do you mean? Like you die, die to someone? Mind. Like die to someone? Yeah, d either die to someone or or to a mob. I mean, you're more likely probably to die to somebody. Um, depends. I mean, it depends how strong you are. I mean, how in, that would honestly that would make some people quit the game. You do 55 minutes of work, then you get killed by another player, and you lose your. Not only do you lose some of the stuff you have on you, but you don't get the reward for the event. That's, That's why true. I'm, I'm very skeptical of this open world thing i mean PvP thing. i mean like like we always said like I, i'm not i'm not trying to stick up from obviously um steven is uh, understanding obviously he's not going to uh compromise the yeah the what's called how the game is because obviously this game's not for everyone but he's also wants to make sure that the corruption system for the overworld or for just the regular world if you're not on like the season shit um, it's kind of feared, not feared, but obviously people know the re repercussions and don't don't think it's like bullshit. They like they actually are like, ah, maybe I shouldn't. Like they have to think, they have to think about it, you know? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not gonna feel that bad if I die to someone that I don't fight back against, or maybe I do fight back if I know that their corruption went up and they're probably they're, they're gonna be in a, a tough spot because like we know there's gonna be other people hunting them. People yeah. who are there's gonna be bounty hunters, so. I may not be able to give him his just deserves, even though he kind of cucked me. Someone will, though. You feel me? Someone will, but that doesn't change the fact that you you don't get the reward for that event just because he wanted to troll you on the last five minutes of it and kill you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I always said, um, there's so many ways in this game that it seems like there is to make money that I don't think that one, one freaking event is going to compromise people especially if you just enjoy the game like if the game has yeah, good content sure. if the game has good combat from first and foremost people are going to play it regardless mm -hmm. like yeah. if, but if the game is like kind of like a very average game then people may be like ah, i don't want to deal with this shit like this combat's not even that nice like i'm not i'm not i'm not fucking with it i don't like the you know animations but if most of the game's good people are gonna be like all right I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna pick my shit up. And by, by the way, also he may not be able to pick all your shit up. You may be able to come back and pick your shit up because, like you said, b bags make a difference. You know, uh, they like Tetris format. He may not even be able to pick up your shit. He may have killed you, but at least you get can go back, come back and pick your shit up if you can't pick all of it up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like that tension. We're missing that tension in MMOs. Um, yeah. It, it creates it creates something to talk about like like I'll say I'll, I'll bring up a, a, a certain thing that you probably remember Jimmy when we were playing New World and we were being shot at by that guy when we were trying oh to do our run God. I mean you remember it you see you remember it though oh, you see you remember it though yeah <laughs> <laughs> you remember <laughs> picture in my head where we were actually pissing me off but you see games don't really do that anymore. You don't remember yeah. stuff like that, like except for like, like I remember when I, how I lost my shit from RuneScape, like when I was killed by NPCs before they made gravestones and shit, like, and how you know, like certain there's certain things in MMOs that you I feel like are, are not memorable, and I feel like this may bring that back. Yeah. Um, you know, I, mean, I think I think it will. I yeah. definitely think it will. All right, but man, you just gotta know. People don't have anything better to do than grief. I know that there's, like, there's the corruption system. Yeah. People don't care if of the penalties sometimes. Bad actors, they man. They want to ruin your day. They may want to ruin your day, but you have to also understand, like I said, with the corruption system, 
Um, there's gonna be bad actors in Alpha 2. Obviously, Steven's gonna tweak the corruption system to. Obviously, he doesn't want to make it so you never know when everyone wants to fight anyone. Like, but if someone wants to, you know, cop a fill once or twice, they could do it, but they're gonna suffer the repercussions. Yeah, that's the that before. Right. But... <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> but also, they have to understand they're not gonna be able to kill people and go rogue for the whole time because they're gonna have diminished stats. So if you really do want, if you really do want to fight back, then you can, you know, and maybe even yeah. win if someone tries. So I don't know. I feel like they're gonna t they're gonna tweak those diminishing returns on killing people to a point where people can't go on a fucking massacre like that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I feel like if they okay. do that properly, then if, if you end up dying once, cool, you know. I'm not, a, I'm not a game designer. I'm not nearly as smart as the people at Intrepid. So I'm sure. I'm sure they, since they put so much money and time into this game, and they're taking Alpha 2 so seriously, he right. said he's going to be out as long as it takes, mm -hmm. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to fine-tune the hell out of the corruption system before the Alpha ends. That's a big thing, I feel like Alpha, well, Alpha, I feel like this video is like a little bit of what we want from like the freaking, what's called, event system, like when we see that on Friday, and also about what we feel like Alpha Two is going to also entail. I feel like we should. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna go. We're gonna run with it since we already talking about it. Um, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't mean to take it in the PvP uh, direction, but that's a concern, bro. It is. It is. Like, you don't want to lose an hour of your time to, to, to someone who wants to be a dick at the end of an event. Exactly. I agree. I agree. Um, but like I said, Alpha Two is gonna. I feel like gonna be a thing where they iron out the corruption system. They iron out obviously some some latency and some like um, what's called systematic things like with having over a hundred thousand people in on the server. That's a way for them to stress test the server, really stress test the server because New World don't even have a tenth of that. Right. Um, <laughs> and they were having a hard time fucking on their PTR. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was so bad. I'm not gonna get into that. But um, they're gonna t deal with that, and then also testing out the combat to make sure that people actually get to test it. Because talking about it and seeing skills and actually doing it is different from actually getting your hands on the keyboard and actually testing out how these classes interact with each other. And you know, that's gonna be a big thing. Um, uh, I don't. I, I I think since that is such a big um, worry for a lot of people, as we've seen, that kind of sent the Ashley Creation community into a disarray when that man Lazy Peon made that video. Um, uh, I feel like Steven is definitely going to be very keen on the corruption system. Because, like, he's, like, I was like, oh, I keep saying it. He wants to, he doesn't want the corruption system to be, like, overbearing and make it so no one can fight anyone in, the, in PvP, like, ever. But he wants yeah. to make it so people don't just wave it off and be like, eh. Eh, you know, and I feel like yeah. the people who want to grieve, you may see people like that at lower levels, but maybe not. If someone's invested so much time in the game to level 50, they may not want to be wanting to grieve that hard, you know? You feel me? Yeah. I don't think someone, and especially for me, I, I, w I wish someone would test me because I'm going to be, be de degenerating the game like most people will be. Yeah. Um, so I'm assuming someone who's just. Not, it's not gonna degen harder than me and not gonna be able to kill me. It's gonna take a few people. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a few. It's gonna be it's a, funny how, uh, how degening the game is the standard now. It is. It really <laughs> is. It, it is. If you're not degening the game. It is. If you're, if you're only playing 10 hours a day, that's casual nowadays. It's very casual. And I. Oh. I respect Steven for understanding that because I'm assuming Steven right, has DJ'd right. the game before. He's definitely like, DJ'd something. It's still night and day between Steven and the New World team because we watched a New World interview recently and they're about to come out with an expansion. Mm -hmm. And when they asked, they got, the main guy's name is Scott and they asked him, what do you recommend players do when the expansion comes out? And he was like, I recommend you guys don't rush through the console. <laughs> <laughs> 
like, it's totally, it's a totally different approach between Intrepid Studios and Amazon Games. It really and is. You can understand. <laughs> He's like, we're gonna fill this world full of content because we know MMO players. Basically, and we're gonna we're gonna deliver. Basically, he understands because um, this man Steven is 100% DJ and a game. At some point in his life, I I I can't. What's the car? I, I mean, it's it's a, it's definitely a fact. I'm not even bullshit. So he understands that people are gonna play the shit out of the game, and then they're gonna complain once they play the game a unhealthy amount of time that there's no content. Um, so this man's not gonna give them the chance to probably say that. You know, he's not gonna give them the chance um, because that's going. Even if it's not true that there that that there's any content in the fucking game, um, people are that don't play the game and just want to shit on the game because that's just the thing to do if someone's shitting on the game people, everyone else shits on it even if they don't play it um he's gonna make it so that it's obviously it's gonna happen because people just like to shit on shit like <laughs> uh he's gonna make sure that it's to a minimum i can i have my faith in him <laughs> I, I have my faith in him too you're right right um what else what else I think that's pretty much it for this video, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, for the wave-based stuff, do you do you want to see? Are you interested in it offering? Maybe, if you complete the event while corrupted, because that's going to be incredibly hard. I'm sure people are going to be trying to kill you if you're corrupted. If you complete <laughs> it while. You if you complete the event while you're corrupted, do you think it's fair to have your corruption removed? Hell no. On, on completion? Hell no. Well, because actually, I feel like that could be gamed. Because maybe be gamed. You can just kill someone right before the event ends and then instantly lose your corruption. Exactly. Hell no. Yeah, never mind. Hell no. I don't think they should give any incentives like that to to for oh. people to be corrupted. Honestly. Because that kind of is like on the RuneScape terms, like you That's know how like true. if you if you're scolded up like while yeah. killing revenants you get more loot and shit like that. Um, mm. That just kind of puts it basically it makes it so you have to be a shitty person. It may, it gives it gives it rewards you for being a shitty person. In That's my true. Um, and I oh, feel, hold on, before you end the video, what do you think? Do you have a general idea of what you want to see from each zone's reward? Like, if they do give different, if the events give different rewards for each zone, do you, do you want them to be different armors, different weapons, different resources? It would different... definitely have to be different resources. I think the resource would have to pertain to what the main resource that you can't get from any other node or any other area would be for that area. Um... Like, let's say you're in the tropics, and it's like, let's say I'm I'm just saying since it's tropical coconuts, you can't get coconuts from fucking. The, the the what's called the Himalayas where it's all snows or some shit. Yeah, then it it should probably give you some of that, you know, because you're in that area, you know. You know, I would be okay with that for resources. If yeah. it gives you like an area specific resource, then yeah. it's like, yeah, what the hell. Yeah. I think but that would be good. Resource is a little more sketchy territory. Right. I feel like as long as you feel like what the rewards you're getting are useful and. And the, I feel like it's all going to kind of take into account what the economy is like, you know? Because, uh -huh. like, if you, if maybe, like, like on risk it, kind of, like, certain bosses you kill, the, they used to be good rewards, but since the economy is shit, they aren't really good rewards anymore, you know? Yeah. Like, Dragon Bones or some shit. Like, oh, they used to be great rewards. Great. Dragon Bones ain't worth shit anymore, so <laughs> don't matter, you know? Like, um... And that's why, I like, like I was telling you before we started the video, you definitely need a. Uh, this game needs enough ways to take out those resources from the game as fast as they come in. Because if they, if too many come in too quickly and they're not being like used quick enough, then you have an economic issue. You know, mm -hmm. um, especially. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Right. I think building supplies are going to get eaten up. Definitely, definitely, because you're going to be building shit for days, and then obviously right. nodes will be destroyed, or maybe they won't be, maybe they'll be protected, but buildings will be damaged, and you'll have to repair them, and they'll be, they'll be taken out a lot, but I don't know, it's a sandbox game, so resources is a high predicate, 
And Stephen seems to understand that because, like we saw with being a mayor, there's different types of you know bins of stone and shit that you can yeah. get in the game. So I think he'll be. I think we'll be fine as long as the e- economic team is nice. It's good. <laughs> yeah, economic team is going to be working double time. Right. <laughs> They better, like, I'm sorry, but they better. Yeah, especially since you're dealing with so much. You're working with so many different types of economies within the game. Like, New World tried to do that, but it didn't work. It didn't work. (laughs) Yeah, New World tried that. It definitely didn't work. And there was no caravan system in New World either. You could just eat, like, walk your resources wherever you want, and it still didn't work. So they need to be extra careful with the caravan system. Exactly. Exactly. And that's a totally different video that we're not going to get into right now but hope you guys enjoyed this i know we kind of were all over the place we kind of at the beginning told you guys what uh we wanted to see from this live stream let me know what you guys want to see from the live stream let me know some other topics what you guys would like us to talk about down below um i have a few um in mind that we kind of went over today but not in like so much focus but let me know what you think let me know how do you feel about um live events or world events what do you think would be good like rewards to get from them that would be meaningful especially for putting so much time into these world events i expect something grandiose honestly for a 30 minute event um but that's just me right <laughs> and also if, if you made it this far leave a comment when you think alpha 2 is the release date is going to be for alpha 2 Cause oh god, that's another video. I that's another. We're not talking about that right now. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. That's another. This year, he doesn't. I think. It, I think we're not talking it. about. Come back next video. We'll talk about that. All right. Uh, <laughs> come back next video. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Cause I gotta laugh at him. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. <laughs> Someone like you and all you know and how you speak. So countless love.